we are at a time of disruption in the business and learning field. Uh, and in particular, if you look at what businesses are going through in terms of, of fighting for the best people, trying to achieve results, trying to improve the speed at which they can operate in today's competitive business environment, it's a real challenge. And the old models of education and of finding talent just don't work anymore uh, in that business environment. And so what we're finding is that organizations have to come up with a better way, a new way of thinking, a new approach to how do we get great results out of our existing workforce? Because we can't go find all of the greatest, best people in the world. There's just not enough of them around. And so this notion of how do you get good people to give great results is the challenge that's really in the forefront of the minds of a lot of business people and learning professionals. An interesting example of how that works is uh, written up by Atul Gawande in his book, Better. Uh, and he talks about this study that was done back in the 60s of cystic fibrosis learning centers or treatment centers. And the idea in these, these treatment centers is that everybody has the same skills, the same knowledge, follows the same patient care protocols, but they don't get the same results. For some reason, they weren't getting the same patient outcomes. And so when the doctors went and looked at this, they found one particular treatment center that claimed significantly better results than everybody else was achieving. Turns out he was right. He really was achieving, the leader of this facility was getting better results. And when they went and looked at it, the, the quote in the book that Atul Gawande wrote is great. He says, it was the same people doing the same things the same way, but everything was different. And what he meant when you really dig into that is that they approached their work differently. They had a different mental model. They had a different focus, a different time allocation. They did things subtly differently in ways that significantly improved the outcomes that they achieved with cystic fibrosis patients. We see the same thing in sales organizations all over the world. You have the same salespeople doing the same tasks, selling the same products with the same sales model and the same sales training, but they don't achieve the same results. They achieve significantly better results, or some of them do. And so the challenge is, how do you understand the differences that drive some people to get great results and other people to just get good results? So what we've developed is an approach or a process, a tool really, that says how can we document and understand those differences in how people operate, the way that people do things, so that we can help good people produce great results and shift that performance curve a little bit so that we're getting better business impact. It starts with what are the, what's the business want? What are the business desires? What are we trying to move the needle on? In the fibrosis case, it was better patient outcomes. In the case of sales, it's closed deals, it's size of deals, it's length of relationships, et cetera, or whatever the organization says they're trying to achieve. Once we understand that, then we go to the field and we identify who are the top performers? Who are those stars who are doing it the best? who are producing the best results, and we examine what they do and how they do. Now the challenge, of course, is that these folks are typically unconscious experts. They don't know what they do. So if you simply ask them, they can't tell you. They just do, I just do my job, that's all I do. But what we do is we have a structured process of saying, what is it that you really do? What are you really focused on? And how do you really use your time? Who do you work with? What tools do you use? What barriers do you have to overcome? All those things so that then we can document all of that in the form of what we call outcomes. And outcomes are things that people produce at the end of the work that they do. So they work, they do tasks, they put in effort, and they produce an outcome. And that outcome is what we want to understand. Because once we understand that outcome, we can build this blueprint of top performance, of excellence in role, and then we can figure out, okay, given that model of excellence, how then do we equip 
all the rest of the workforce to be able to produce at that same level? And how do we onboard new people into the role closer to the level of excellence so that we can shorten the time to perform so that we can improve their initial results that they produce uh, when they first come into role? The business impacts that we've seen have been phenomenal. Uh, because we're starting with the business and we're focusing on what the business needs and how people are meeting those business needs and driving results. So outcomes thinking is the key to unlocking the secret to how to get good people to produce great results.